Welcome to Cruise Man's Garage Base Camp Tutorials. This is episode one. In this episode, I'm just going to talk about the maps that you have installed in Base Camp. When you first open Base Camp, assuming you do not have your Garmin device attached to your computer, all you're going to see is this global map. And if we look up here in the Maps menu, you'll see it has selected the global map. The problem with the global map is it doesn't have any detail. So if it will show you some major highways and thoroughfares, but if you get into a city or uh, even in the countryside, it won't show you some of the detailed uh, smaller roads and uh, areas that, and even the businesses. It won't show you any of that detail. So if you did connect your Garmin device to your computer, then Basecamp will go out and find that device and it will use the map that's installed on your Garmin device. And that map will have this detailed information that we want. So let's plug in a Garmin device to this computer and let's see what I'm talking about. When you connect your Zumo or your Garmin device as I have here, it may open Garmin Express automatically, which is Garmin's utility program. It's the program that allows you to update your Garmin device and install new maps. If Garmin Express does not open automatically when you plug in your Garmin device, you will need to open Garmin Express. So now Garmin Express has opened up on top of my Basecamp application, and you can see here it shows my Zumo 595 and that it is connected. Now I'm going to send Garmin Express to the back right this minute because I want to show you what has happened in Basecamp. You'll notice in Basecamp, now over here under My Garmin Devices, it shows the Zumo 595 and it also shows the maps. And this is the City Navigator North America. And if you look under the Maps menu now, you'll see there is a City Navigator North America NT 2020.1, which is the version number. Now, the reason that shows up is because the Garmin device is attached to the computer. So Basecamp is going out and looking at any Garmin devices attached to the computer and pulling those maps into Basecamp for you to use. So if I select City Navigator North America, it will now switch to that map. Now it's zooming in because I was zoomed in before. And you'll notice now as you, let me zoom out for you so you can see a little more of what we were doing before. You'll see a lot more detail, a lot more roads, a lot more information. It, it even shows you the airports with the little airplane icons here. So it now has all of the information in this map that we need to create our routes. But what if we want to work on a route without the Garmin device attached to the computer? To do that, we need to install the map into Basecamp. And there is a way to do that with Garmin Express. So let's go back and open Garmin Express. So now if we look at Garmin Express, we've basically pulled it to the foreground on top of our map. If you'll notice under here you have map options. If you click on that, you can install map to computer. And that will install this map so that Basecamp can find it without the Garmin device attached to the computer. So let's click this and see what happens. Of course, you have to accept the terms and conditions. And it tells you everything you need to know here. Basically, just say it's going to take a few minutes. So let's continue. And you can see it's actually downloading some files. Uh, depending on your internet connection, uh, it could take a few minutes. In this case, it says it's going to take 46 minutes. Now, the good news is it didn't actually take 46 minutes. It took about 15 minutes, but I went ahead and uh, stopped the video so that you didn't have to sit through that. You can see here it says you're up to date. The updates are complete. Let's go ahead and close Garmin Express. Now we've disconnected the Garmin uh, unit from the computer. You can see over here on the left, my Garmin devices, there's none. So no Garmin devices connected. But yet if we go to the Maps menu, we can see that we do have the City Navigator installed on this computer. Now we can lay out routes without having to have our Garmin device connected to the computer.